What's going on guys? We're gonna do a little update. Um, not much has really been done. I had to mow the yard today. So I just kind of moved stuff around and I didn't get to add anything because I was trying to mow the yard and helping some neighbors and stuff. So here we go. I got this today at Mark's, which is an Ohio store. Um, it's just a little skeleton. His little hands stick down on the ground and his head sticks in the ground. And the skull lights up here. It was like $7. It's, it's all right. I mean, it's nothing great. Um, it'd be cool for like a, a tombstone creeper kind of looking dude. Um, nothing too fancy. And obviously we have the scarecrow sitting here. I need to get a light out and put a light on him um he is lit up pretty well though um i'm not too mad at how he is i might however have to move him because there's a window directly behind him and my wife doesn't really like all the lights in the windows so i might have to eventually move him um here i just moved this guy i uh, just got him sitting down here i uh, moved him to mo obviously I just have him out waving to everybody. Uh, same with this guy. He was over there uh, when I mowed. I just moved him here. Uh, just again, have him waving. This was my wife's idea, and this actually turned out pretty good because the little legs on him that I hot glued, the glue already broke, and he was leaning over, and I had him right there originally. And she was like, it'd be pretty cool if you put him in there and just use the, uh, the flowers that are spewing over. Like, he'd look pretty cool in there. Try that. So I put his torso here on this side and his hand on the other side. So I think it turned out pretty cool. He looks pretty neat in there. But this guy was like $40 from Spirit. Um, he's pretty neat. He's a pretty good addition. He's going to look nice for a, a groundbreaker here in the graveyard. And then up here, this was my wife's doing, not me. She's got some skeletons sitting in the rocking chairs. And my youngest one had to run around and turn them all on. So they're all sitting here all turned on. You can kind of see him from down below. Kind of barely see the eyes glowing. But. Pretty neat. And then we have that guy up there. Sorry, my neighbor's light is horrendous. So I have this dude. I'm going to get some more out this weekend. Um, I'm going to try to do the archway. That's why I tried to mow today. So I'm gonna try to get the fencing out this weekend and the archway out. So the fence will all be up and then I can start on the graveyard because once that, once all that goes up, I'm done mowing until November. Uh, that's usually what I do. But I just figured I would give you another daily update. We will get there, I promise. We're gonna keep going with everything we got and um, I'm just trying to move these guys around, just kind of keep the neighbors on their toes because the neighborhood kids have already been like, oh, the house over there by the church has already got scary stuff out. So they're taking notice. They're uh, enjoying it. The kids on the bus uh, get on the bus here and they out look every day. So um, obviously today is Labor Day weekend. So basically after this weekend uh, Halloween is okay to do apparently because I've heard a lot of people complaining why aren't you waiting until after Labor Day then what the heck's it matter it's September 1st bud so I guess this after this weekend is okay to start decorating um, I don't I don't really care I'm gonna decorate when I can so this weekend I'm gonna try to do as much as I can try to really get this graveyard going get all that 
to get the headache out of the way first and then I can start running lighting and all that stuff. Uh, I know it's still early, but I would still really like to get as much of this stuff done as possible as early as I can. Because once I start working at the professional haunted house, uh, life gets a little bit more hectic and I have less time to work on this stuff. So until tomorrow, I appreciate you guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little daily update. And I will catch you guys tomorrow.